Uh, we'll begin with our first question. We'll start with Mr. Matheny. And if you'll pop the first question up on the uh, board and all of us can read along and follow along. I'm glad it's in large font so I can see it. Uh, the question is, what is your history of support and activity within your county's Republican Party? Positions held, contributions, and what about that activity uh, uniquely prepared to represent all of the six district interests in the U.S. House of Representatives? Again, each of you will have two minutes to answer these questions for our first round. And, uh, and as a part of that, I'll reiterate that our candidates are allowed two minutes. You don't have to use all two minutes, but you're allowed a maximum of two minutes. Mr. Mathain. My history here in Guilford County uh, in the Republican Party was I went right and got elected when I was 32 years old. Um, I moved here, started getting involved in the community, and um, really got involved in the community, which led me to run for office. Honestly, I didn't set out to be a politician. Um, I just became a politician because I cared about the community. And so um, I participated in events here um, and worked with the past leaders of the Republican Party here um, and have come to meetings um, when my schedule permits, because sometimes we're scheduled when council meets. Um, and so as an elected official that's a Republican, you try to keep the lines of communication open as much as possible. As far as contributions, um, I have contributed. I even contributed in the name of uh, Mary and Frank Rakestall in December and in honor of Guilford County Chair Michael Piccarelli um, due to his illness that he experienced in December. Um, and so. I think how actively unique it prepares me. The reality is you got to have the lines of communication open, um, whether it's this room as we sit here tonight, outside this room, and you got to carry it forward. Also, um, like probably many of us in this room, for that matter, uh, you keep the lines of communication open and try to meet and speak with your other elected officials that are Republican, um, in particular as it relates to budget time. So. Bill Knight, Mary Rickshaw, Trudy Wade in particular, when uh, we work together, would meet often. And so um, it was thrust upon me. I've accepted it as my leadership position in council as a Republican and just keep the lines of communication open are the main things. And of course, um, continue to financially support. I think many of you know I became a resident of Guilford County last year. Uh, I was born in Asheville. Asheville for uh, Randolph County for many years was in the 6th District. And uh, after the redistricting in uh, 2011 moved out, but I have been a, a uh, registered voter since 1972. I think many of you know that uh, I was a registered Democrat in 1972 at age 18. Uh, my conversion to Republican principles occurred uh, largely during the Reagan administration while I was living overseas. When I returned last year, I changed my party registration to become a Republican. Like Ronald Reagan, like Jesse Holmes, I had a conversion uh, at some point in my life. Um, I think my record would uh, clarify very clearly who I've supported. I donated money to campaigns of John McCain, Mitt Romney, uh, Senator Burr, Governor McCrory. Um, I'm not a professional politician. Uh, I did study political science in uh, university. Uh, I did have some uh, manager. I was the CEO of a company uh, in Hong Kong. Um, it's really up to you to decide whether or not I have the qualities to become uh, your congressman. Uh, I will say that I have uh, had a lot of experience in the business world. I've had negotiations with central bankers, with prime ministers of countries, and I think one of the critical challenges that we have is to replace the jobs that we have lost, not only across this nation, not only in the state of North Carolina, but in this district. I think I can help that happen. Thank you. When I came back to the United States after serving overseas in the, in the Army as a military policeman and a member of the United States Army Band, I was uh, an 
working in engineering, civil engineering. I was a construction engineer. And my first involvement with the Republican Party was in Charlotte with the young Republicans. And I worked for a number of candidates. When I came back to Greensboro, I was involved with the young Republicans. I was uh, state president for the Republican Men's Federation. I was precinct chair in Guilford County, Guilford County Republican Party. I've served on the executive committee and the central committee of the North Carolina Republican Party. And I've worked for more candidates than I can count, uh, starting with uh, Senator Helms. I always worked on his campaigns in my insurance office. In 1990, was the Helms for Senate headquarters here in Guilford County. And uh, we worked hard uh, to pull him extra votes so he could win. We still lost Guilford County, but so he could win the state of North Carolina. I have uh, worked, as I said, for more candidates than I can count. Out, out of the Helms campaign in 90, I was asked to run for insurance commissioner against the, the most powerful Democrat at that time in North Carolina, Jim Long. I did that when no other Republican would. I was the first Republican to get a million votes in that race. And uh, I've, I've helped House, Senate, judicial candidates. I've supported the party and the candidates with my time and my dollars. And I said for 40 years I've been solidly working in the Republican Party, not only at the Guilford County Republican Party level, but all across the state of North Carolina. Thank you. February the 21st, and we've already contributed more than Joe Biden has in the last five years. Checked his records. The, uh, you know, you hear a lot of people talk about serve and service. In my adult life, it's been my recollection that those who serve do so behind the scenes. It's easy to be up here on the stage. But to me, the true servants are the ones that get it done in local cities, working in a nursery, serving as a precinct captain. And that's what I've done the last two years. It wasn't a very visible position, but I knew it had to start at some level. So two years ago, I accepted that position, very proud of what we've accomplished even in our precinct, FR58. Not only there, but two years ago, I was hoping Justin Conrad would slip out when I shared this, but I began to get involved for Trudy Wade, and on election day, I drew, drove until late that night, putting out signs and because I believed in the lady, the Iron Lady of Gifford County would represent us well. There are many other examples. I don't go to a single political rally that we don't make the minimum contribution. We're nothing special just because we're a candidate. I think it's important that service is not just what you say, it's also what you do. And I'm happy that my record is pretty, pretty good in that element. I, I attend nearly every Gifford County event, have done for the last couple of years, and even other counties. And not all people up here can say that even in their own counties. But I think it's important that sometimes when you see slick advertising, you may see commercials, but look a little deeper, not just what you say, but also what you do. Thank you. Make sure it's on. Uh, should be on. Uh, I may be one of the uh, ones who don't have as much local con uh, connection here to the county, but I've been a Republican basically all my life. I started over 30 years ago, and as soon as I got out of law school, the local party wanted me to run for Congress, and I would have been unopposed. But at the time, I chose not to because I didn't want to stay in Minnesota. So I left, and from that point on, I've been actively involved in a lot of GOP. Everything from, I was on Pete, Pete Wilson's election for both the governor and the Senate, I ran in California along with Elizabeth Dole and her campaign out there. I worked with uh, Duncan Hunter, and uh, when I was down in Charleston, I was one of the first supporters for Senator Tim Scott when he ran for Congress. In fact, Tim asked me to write a white paper for him uh, for, that sets out the U.S. military's capability to, to wage a multi-theater war with the current military strength. Because the military background and military strategy is one of my strong points. And I did that for him, and he used that in his campaign. Uh, I, I gave so much money to political campaigns that the IRS thought I was a super PAC. And I, I continue to give whenever I can. Uh, so I, my wife grew up here 49 years ago, her parents, except her father died this morning, but they still, they still live in Sedgefield, 
And ever since I met my wife, I've been up here. Uh, and so my contacts with Sedgefield and Greensboro is at least for the last 13 years. Thank you. From 2000 to 2012, I served in uh, High Point in the Republican Party as an officer <coughs> for the first four years as uh, secretary, the next four as vice chairman, and the, the final four as chairman. During that time, uh, I actually hosted uh, forums just like this in High Point uh, at every election uh, for Republican and Democrat candidates because we had nonpartisan elections. We also did so for uh, State Senate and uh, the State House on many occasions uh, in High Point. Uh, I've been a member uh, prior to, through 2012, I was a member of the Guilford County Executive Committee uh, and also the 6th District Executive Committee. Uh, in the Republican Party and the precinct chair. Uh, in 2008, um, Guilford County, is it still on? <coughs> Guilford County uh, lost a place to, to, to be, I think, or moved out of a place. We actually welcomed uh, Guilford County Republican Party to High Point, and we uh, shared an office there for the 08 election, the McCain uh, campaign, and uh, had Bob Dole there. Uh, personally, uh, my servanthood in that regard is for the last uh, six elections, uh, another fellow and I have gone out and put signs up at every high point precinct for every Republican that had signs at our headquarters. And the, the election night, uh, we also went out and personally picked them all up so the candidates did not have to do that. Uh, I think that's very important. Um, I'm very familiar with the, uh, the need and the value that the, the need for volunteers and the value of people that volunteer for the local party. Uh, it's unfortunate that I could not attend uh, last year's uh, uh, county convention. Uh, I, was, I was in a motorcycle accident about two weeks before that, and uh, my wife wouldn't let me leave the house. But I did call the uh, two folks that were running for uh, chairman of the 6th district and wished them both well. On uh, November 4th, 1992, uh, it was raining in Wilmington, North Carolina. And why does that date stand out so much to me? Uh, I was out putting up signs for Lock Fair Cloth while I was a student at UNC Wilmington, and it was my wife's birthday. Uh, we had met in school just a few months before and uh, had gone out and supported Senator Faircloth uh, in his campaign. So I've been a member of the Republican Party all my life. I have been a, a hard worker for the Republican Party. I was the chairman of the Rockingham County Republican Party, and in 2007, I was named uh, Republican of the Year by the Rockingham County Republican Party. Uh, I have served as chair of many gubernatorial campaigns. Uh, the, the one that is really dear to my heart is Patrick Ballantyne. Uh, Patrick was a strong member of the Senate. I worked, uh, we and, me and a team, uh, worked very hard uh, to get Patrick elected, uh, and we came up a little bit short. Uh, I mentioned Senator Faircloth. I was a volunteer for Senator Helms uh, on uh, two of his campaigns. And if you can remember this far back, I was a uh, volunteer, made phone calls for Senator Jim Broyhill. Uh, my father served as the uh, uh, county chair for Senator Broyhill, and I helped him on his campaign. Donated money, uh, Ballantyne, Jason Sane, uh, Burt Jones, Trudy Wade, uh, McCrory. Uh, but my first political contribution was one dollar and quarters uh, on President Reagan's re-election campaign in the 80s. Uh, I was just in elementary school. I got a neat letter from the president. Um, so I've been active for over uh, 20 years, but what uniquely qualifies me based on my service, I served as the campaign manager for my father when his Senate district, which included Senator Virginia Fox, now Representative Fox, stretched from uh, Greensboro to Watauga. That district included uh, Stokes, Surrey, Rockingham, and Guilford counties. My time is almost up, um, so I'll, I'll answer the rest of that later. Thank you, gentlemen.